since this is a deeper dive session, let's keep moving. Those of you who have used GIS in the past probably have numerous shapefiles. You can map those shapefiles in ArcGIS Online to share that content with others. Here is a set of data on the Titanic that I had stored in ArcGIS for desktop, specifically in ArcMap. As you can see here, I have numerous zip files, one for the discovery, one for the iceberg extent, one for the lifeboats, the rescue routes, the rescue ships, the ice warnings, and so on. I zipped up all my shape files and I pushed them up into ArcGIS Online. The map is useful, but the content I uploaded is locked in the map. In other words, you have to load this map that I did, Titanic Warnings, Voyage, Ice, Rescue, and Discovery, web map. You can't add these layers I've got on the left side here to any other map because they're locked inside this map. In order to do that, in other words, in order to add those layers into your own map, you would need to save those layers not just as zipped shapefiles, but as a feature service. In order to do that, we need to talk first about the two types of ArcGIS Online accounts. First of all, a personal or public account, which is what we have been using thus far. And secondly, an organizational subscription account. The distinction between the two can be examined via this chart. And to give the topic fair treatment would require an, an entire webinar. Suffice it to say here that on the personal account, you've got some capability, quite a bit of capability. But on the subscription account, you've got a lot more capability there. Organizations purchase a subscription, which allows them to configure and manage their own ArcGIS online site and set of resources. A subscription includes organizational accounts for members of the organization. A subscription to ArcGIS online allows organizations to manage their geospatial content in a secure environment, publish maps and data in an ESRI secure cloud, configure their own ArcGIS online website, and create maps and apps from APIs, templates, and tools. It also gives them resources to share and collaborate with its members and beyond the organization. Organizations can share their geospatial content and provide access to critical information while staying in control of their own data. Through a subscription, you get flexible data storage capabilities and administrative controls for managing user roles and access levels. Administrators of the subscription can invite specific users or groups of users with already established logins used in the organization and monitor usage through an intuitive dashboard. You can share your content through groups with members of your organization. Keep it private or make it public. One of the best things about an organizational subscription is that you have more power, as you can see in this chart. Organizations can publish their maps and data as web services on ArcGIS Online. ESRI takes care of hosting the services and scaling to meet demand. Web, desktop, and mobile applications can access the hosted services from anywhere on the Internet if the publisher chooses to allow it. The services can be published directly from ArcGIS for Desktop, which I, I will illustrate shortly, or the ArcGIS.com website, which I will also illustrate. Administrators of an organization can customize the ArcGIS online website to showcase the geographic information that's important to the organization. Configuration can include the home page, the gallery, the map, and security. An example of a college using an ArcGIS online organizational account is Brookhaven College. They're using an organizational account. Notice their gallery of maps and how the map serves as their front end to their whole geospatial program. So all this is done inside ArcGIS Online for organizations. So here's a map. I'm just clicking on one of the maps in their gallery. And up pops what they have defined the history of Brookhaven College buildings. Excellent. Suffice it to say here that the organizational account gives you more power to 1. Manage users. 2. Create your own organizational landing web page, as Brookhaven has done here. And including your own map gallery and your own organizational look and feel. And number 3. The ability to publish more powerful data services, as we will see. Let's look at some historical election oral data back to 1956 that I posted online in conjunction with the 2012 election to compare historical with current patterns. Here it is. Notice that it's a feature service, unlike the Titanic data. So let's go ahead and open that. How did I create this? Once again, in ArcGIS for Desktop is how I did it, in ArcMap. My original data was stored 
in a separate shapefile for each one of these elect election years. And we can turn on and turn all, all these off. Let's go ahead and turn them all off. Let's look at 2008. And then we've got a legend there. Let's go back to 2004. And there's the, there's the legend. So every one of these separate layers it was originally a separate shapefile. I then published that data to ArcGIS Online, but this time I used my organizational account to publish the data as a feature service. Now the difference here is look at the My Content inside my organizational account. This is a feature service. The feature service is more powerful than a set of editable map notes or more powerful as zip shapefiles in part because it is tied to a, a database that can be modified. It's also more modular than map notes. It can be separated from any particular map and added to another map. To illustrate, if I start a new map I can add that electoral state historical feature service to my map. So let's go ahead and copy that. So now I'm going to start a map. Right? And I want to start a new map this time. Alright. So now I'm going to add. I'm going to search for layers. And I'm going to paste that electoral state historical. Ah, look. It's a layer. Now I can add it. And I can also add other things to this map. Let's take a look at what happened in 1956. Stevenson and Eisenhower. Okay, so I hope that gets you thinking about the different kinds of things you can publish. It all depends on your goals. If you want to have just a plain map that you don't want to you know, make modular, then uh, just publishing a map is fine. But if you want more power, these ArcGIS Online organizational accounts and these feature services really are quite wonderful. So now, adding this, I can now save this and add more layers to it. See, I'm using that electoral data as a layer now instead of just opening a canned map that I can't really do much else with. <laughs>